Hi guys, I'm Cam. Welcome back to my channel. We're getting ready to go to the river and I can't raise the motor because we got a dead battery. Or is my battery bad? Well, several years ago, I bought one of these Excel battery system testers off eBay or Amazon. I don't know, one of those places. But anyways, it's about 50 bucks and it's one of the coolest things. So put it on your terminals. We're going to use out of vehicle, regular flooded, it'll do all battery types, okay, marine cranking amps, this is a 625 marine cranking amp battery, and so you go up or down, choose 625 marine cranking amps, and it's going to test our battery. So it says the battery's good, but our health is 80%, and we only got 560 cranking amps. And it's 12.9 volts, and it's 98% charged. So, before I go to the river, I'd like to have a fully charged battery. So one of the things you want to do with this is as you're charging it, mark down, let's see, when, it was, when I was dead, I was having 490 cold cranking amps, got it up 495, 510, and today it's 565, and now, so as we go up, we can check the charge and make sure it's holding a good charge for us. So this thing is phenomenal for $50. What it does, somehow or another, it checks the resistance in there is how it tells the quality, but it load tests it. So I highly recommend one of these. I do recommend charging a battery at 10 amps and not trickle charging it at 2. That's just to basically maintain it. But if you want to keep it from sulfating on you, I like to hit it with a 10 amp charge periodically. I'm not a big fan of battery maintainers. I prefer, like over the winter time, just to every, about every two weeks, hit it with a 10 amp charge.